Hey guys, Jarek and Komodo here, and we're going to be doing some more Black Ops 1, this time doing some Team Deathmatch on Nuketown, and I've learned something going back to Black Ops 1. Nuketown is actually a lot more fun in Black Ops 1 than Black Ops 2. I think it's just because Black Ops 1 is a lot slower paced, so you get a little bit more than 10 feet before you die, <laughs> because in Black Ops 2 it's even more of a clusterfuck. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be using dual scorpions on this level. I don't usually go dual scorpions, although I do really like the scorpion. Just in general, any game that has a scorpion in it, I'm going to use it because it's a really fun gun to shoot in real life. This gun, like, you gotta be careful when you shoot it because... Oh, and I gotta interrupt myself. Quick double kill right at the beginning of the game and then die in the same exact way. But I'll take that trade, two kills for one death. I don't know how the guy next to me didn't die. Probably was... I almost said probably was wearing flak jacket. Probably had flak jacket selected. But yeah, the scorpion in real life, you can burn through ammo really quickly and waste a lot of money. <laughs> It's just a fun little gun to shoot. It has very little recoil. It You can accidentally bump fire it really easy, easily, actually, which is still trying to decide whether that's a good or a bad thing. It's just fun. Uh, you know, it's, they're fairly cheap to get. Ammo is, well, expensive everywhere, but, you know, it's not quite as expensive as shooting a 223 all the time or something like that. I don't know. This thing is just, I really, I've always loved the Scorpion. So if the game has a Scorpion in it, I'm going to use it. And I normally don't dual wield, but... I figured I might as well give it a try. I didn't do too well at the beginning of this game, but I did manage to get all my kill streaks. Uh, I got them a little bit too late, unfortunately, so I really didn't get much of a chance to actually use them. I think I threw my attack dogs out with only like five kills left. So, could have used them a little bit better, but hey, using dual scorpions, that's good enough. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the questions. This question was asked by Miniboy, and he says, Apple or Android? Well, I hate Apple, so... <laughs> it doesn't give me much of a much of a choice there. Gonna gonna go ahead and go with Android. Yeah, I actually have to use iPads at work, so I'm not a big fan of Apple, and that really does suck having to use those things. They literally are forcing us to use them, and uh, yeah, it's not fun. I okay. Part of me hates Apple. Part of me likes Apple because. You know, I hate them because of all the bullshit they do, and I really hate them because of all the annoying ads they have where it's like, PC versus Mac type things, and then people just start spewing that shit that they hear and they don't know any better, and they just immediately assume that it's right because for some reason they have the fanboy over a company instead of going, hey, I'm a logical consumer, I'm going to buy what's the best product. No, this is instantly the better one. It has a, it's white and it has an Apple logo on it. It's so good. I, I hate that logic. I really do. But yeah, the other part of me actually likes them because they get people to do this. Like, as far as marketing goes, they're kind of... I almost want to say they're genius a little bit because they have gotten so many people to buy them... to buy so much stuff. They're doing it right. Yeah, yeah, they're doing it right, but I still despise them. I gotta say, the one thing I hate about uh, Apple's products is how... how closed... Ended, I guess is the word I want to use. Well, that's are? that's part of the buy our stuff thing. That's how they get even more money. Like that's annoying. I, I'm I'm sorry. If Anyone in like, the tech is not going to like that. Like if you if you like Apple, that's fine and all. Just keep in mind that like if you bought a PC that wasn't Apple branded, and say you wanted to replace one thing in it, you could. You wouldn't have to go spend another two thousand dollars on a computer. You wouldn't have to spend a two. You wouldn't have to spend two thousand dollars on a computer in general if you didn't buy an Apple. Yeah, that's true. I mean, my computer, as overdone as it is, only cost me around eight hundred and fifty dollars, and this thing is far better than anything you're gonna find in stores. All right, let's stop knocking uh, the things that people. <laughs> yeah, like we're gonna now. get a lot of hate for saying all the things we're saying. Sorry, I'm using logic. <laughs> all right, moving on. Uh, this was actually not a question. This just this comment confused me so badly. I had to point it out. This was actually on a Titanfall video, and uh, this comment says, In my opinion, this game seems to be a copy of Halo 4. How the f- how do you get that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, sorry, I just had to point that out. I, I won't say names, but that person knows who he is. I, I don't understand. Alright, uh, hey, the Jones channel. I actually see this guy commenting a lot. I don't know if you've noticed him or not. Not that one guy. That one guy. That's specific. I know exactly who you're talking about now. Thank you. Shut up. Go <laughs> on. <laughs> Alright, this question. What do you think about the hate on casuals? I... Gonna sound like an asshole here. I think it's completely warranted. Um... Yeah, once again, one of those rare moments where I agree with you, because, um... It's not because it's like, I don't hate you for being casual. 
I hate companies for listening to the casual players and for dumbing games down. That's what annoys the hell out of me. Exactly what you said, exactly the way you said it. I Battlefield's a great example, actually. Like, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 are just... They're not really... I mean, they're still Battlefield, but they're really not old-school Battlefield. Um, I'm gonna take this in a different direction. Uh... Whoa! I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell that guy was doing, alright. Oh, hi, Gary. For grenade. instance, uh, Guild Wars. I know, you're probably like, whatever. But, like, it feels like a lot of people who are casual gamers somehow end up playing that game. How do I know that? Because everybody wants to do speedruns in dungeons. That's not how dungeons in an MMO works. And on top of that, everybody wants to skip all of the fights in the dungeons. That's not what... If you want to play a game for five minutes, don't play an MMO. Just saying. Whoa. So I managed what? to get a... <laughs> I managed to get the last kill of the game and get one kill with my attack dogs. I wish I got my attack dogs sooner. I would have gotten a lot more kills, but hey, I'm satisfied enough getting attack dogs on Nuketown with dual scorpions, because I, you know, like I said, I love using the scorpions, so any gameplay that's decent with scorpions, I'll go ahead and upload. Hey, this has been some more Black Ops 1. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you later.